Boy, they sure don't make them like they used to, you know what I mean? Freaking golf on the NES. Dude, this is the pinnacle of video game civilization. Look at these mechanics. Dude, it's just a bygone era. Well, here we are in this bygone era. It's Lee Trevino's Fighting Golf. All right, look, I'm totally about to dunk on Lee Trevino here, but, uh, you know, I picked this game. I want this to be my first NES game review. I'm actually really hyped to talk about this. It is absolutely stupid. It is absolutely fun, and it's it's not even good, but, I mean, it, it kind of just represents why I like this console and the games for it. So I hope to convey that to you today in this review, that it's not just dumb, but it's dumb fun. Lee Trevino's Fighting Golf. This is the review. Subscribe, motherfuckers. So I'd like to start by going over the basics. There's not much this game offers in terms of content. It's literally stroke play, Nassau game, and practice. Stroke play is just you playing 18 holes, and Nassau game is a competitive match versus an AI player. The character selection is uh, not good. It's pretty Amy, a big jumbo, super mechs, and miracle Chosuke. Pretty Amy is pretty much the only character you're going to want to play as because she is the most playable. I'll show you why later. The two courses are USA and Japan. Uh, not much of a difference in terms of, uh, I don't know, like what you're going to be golfing, except that Japan has more water to uh, fall in, which is definitely uh, something to worry about. Here are the mechanics. I totally botched that first shot. Oh, well, I, I was just learning the controls while I was playing. But, uh, yeah, what you have to do is line up your shot, and it's not very good. The sensor bar is very hard to control with the NES controller. And then you take two button presses to try and align your shot. The first button press is to measure your distance where the white bar is on the bottom. And then the second shot, you're trying to line up with the arrow to get the most accurate shot. So if you go to the left of the arrow, the ball will swing to the right. And if you go to the right of the arrow, the ball will curve to the left. You have to think about it like where you hit the golf ball. It's actually pretty competent, and these mechanics have carried through to golf games in the modern era. I mean, I think of Mario Golf, my favorite fucking golf game ever. But, uh, you know, it's good to see it intact and competent. It reminds me, actually, of Mario Golf on the Game Boy Color, just in terms of presentation and everything. So, uh, you know, people like to dunk on golf games, but I think that they're actually, in terms of gameplay, pretty precise. The problem with this is... It is very hard to be precise. There's not an ideal way to measure your shot to see how far you're gonna hit. So oftentimes you kind of have to rely on guesswork. And that's not great in a game where you're really trying to make par. Hell, even on this first one, I mean, I didn't think I played too bad and I got a triple bogey. Uh, I did botch the first shot, but you know, <laughs> I can't really measure it to get the score I want. I mean, I was playing casually the other night, and in nine holes, I had plus 27. Not great. <laughs> you know, plus is not where you want to be. You want to be on the minus side in golf. But Pretty Amy, I like her shots because uh, she can move the cursor as far as you need her to. Uh, with two of the other characters, it's Super Mechs and then Big Jumbo Boy. What well, I don't know his name. Big Jumbo, I think. Uh, you can't move their reticle past a certain distance, and it makes it impossible to gauge. The only other playable character is Miracle Chosuke, and uh, I don't know, I had some problems with him, but uh, he is more playable than the other two. And then here's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I just got a freaking super rough shot, but I was aiming dead on, and it seemed like my shot was perfect. I'm aiming at full distance. And I guess that one was a little off, so I guess that made a little bit more sense. But my gameplay is just like that shot. It's super rough. It's not good. Dude, don't even get me started on the putting. I mean, I'll make this one, but you got to see some of the putting in the later game. 
Uh, first off, reading the green is like reading calligraphy. I don't know what these symbols are supposed to mean. I know some of them mean like the, the slope is going down. And then other times I'm like, what is this? How do I even gauge my shot when I'm looking at this thing? Like here, what am I supposed to do in this shot? The the green is going down, and then there's these triangle signs that look like hourglasses. Uh, I, I figure I'm just going to swing and try and get it as close to the hole as possible. So that's not really a great position to be in. Double bogey? I'll take it. I don't even feel badly. Get it? Badly. <laughs> Oh my god, a chip and birdie! Yes, my life's ambitions have come true. I got a birdie in an NES golf game, not bad. By the way, I really do like the game's animations. I mean, I like the swing, I like her little bicep curl when she gets the shot in. It's, it's a good looking game, to be honest. Uh, I mean, it's simple, but the graphics get it done. I mean, you know, I'm not really going for anything too crazy, but even the borders, the overlays, like, I, I, I'm pretty impressed with how uh, how good this looks on, on the eyes. So usually I do only have patience to play nine holes and uh, call it a day. I mean, that's pretty normal anyway if you've ever gone golfing. Play nine, uh, you know, it usually takes like two hours. It feels about the same when you're doing this, even though it's closer to 10 minutes. But one day I do hope to play the full 18 and uh, I'll probably have a score in, uh, you know, the double digits again. Hopefully lower. But anyways, that's it for Lee Trevino's Fighting Golf. It is a solid golf game and solid NES game. It's not great, but it is very much playable and enjoyable for what it is. I highly recommend trying it and don't expect anything great because uh, it's not, but it is fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for more NES reviews and other content, and I will see you in the next video. Ta-ta!